Our real world is complex. It expands not only above the surface of our planet, but also into the underground where there is a whole spaghetti-like network of utility infrastructure, such as water and gas mains, electrical and fiber optic lines, and much more too. These utility networks have grown over the decades and have also been modified an undefined number of times as more and more construction work was carried out in the surrounding area. Right now, in fact, we just don't know what utility infrastructure is beneath our feet. So, what is the impact of all of this? Why should we even care? Let us look at the example of New York City, where hidden in its underground are more than 150,000 kilometers of electrical lines and more than 7,000 kilometers of gas pipes. While these numbers are overwhelming, it is even more astonishing to learn that the city streets are sliced open 200,000 times every year on average, and that the strikes on underground infrastructure cost the city an estimated 300 million US dollars every year. And New York City is just one example. This is a widespread problem around the world, which, as Marcel said, results in over 50 billion US dollars of economic impact per year in the United States alone. But can we do this any better? Yes, actually we can. To know the accurate positioning of underground utilities first requires having good quality data. And second, having the power to post-process and interpret such a data. GPR has demonstrated its ability and become the leading technology for capturing that data. At the Screen Eagle Technologies, we have developed a full stack of unbeatable GPR technologies in terms of data quality with a wide range of applications. From concrete infrastructure for the location of rebar and post tension tendons to subsurface mapping applications, including the innovative free path workflow with centimeter accuracy mapping and the ability to share CAD and GIS results directly from the field. Now, whether you use our GPR technologies or some secondary product from a different brand, in certain scenarios, you will still need to support your analysis with GPR post-processing software, like complex GPR datasets, or to comply with established standards such as the PIS 128 in the UK. Last year, we officially launched GPR Insights, the world's leading GPR post-processing platform. GPR Insights introduced an innovative and yet intelligent automated workflow from the field to the office and to your client. Since then, more and more users are incorporating GPR Insights into their day-to-day -day data workflows. So let's listen what two of our customers have to say. Passion for innovation is in the DNA for Rodrigo Hacke from Chile. Rodrigo's father, Agustin Hacke, was a pioneer when he first started the family business using equipment that not many understood. While technology has since advanced and structures have aged, Rodrigo's business has continued to grow. The team use only the latest technologies to complete projects that used to take half a year with traditional methods. Now it takes just a couple of weeks. Rodrigo himself has become a pioneer, using new software to achieve never seen before quality results.
the best decisions are always made with clarity. This couldn't be truer for Bill Steinhardt from engineering design firm Ritu. Bill scans all kinds of structures, from concrete slabs and underground utilities to world-famous landmarks and historical cemeteries. He often performs sophisticated post-processing to extract deep insights that would otherwise be hidden to the human eye. These insights are more than just data. They let Bill uncover the past, understand the present, and provide clarity to make the right decisions for the future. Very impressive, isn't it? Now, like all our software suites in our ecosystem, we are committed to continuously evolving our solutions. Therefore, today I'm proud to announce the introduction of GPR Insights 2. Let me show you some of the amazing new workflows coming in this new version. Our real world is not two-dimensional. So why should you be limited to visualizing or even performing your GPR data analysis in only two dimensions? Three-dimensional visualization of data offers many advantages, particularly when communicating your findings and interpretations to non-experts. This is especially true if the GPR data is from a location with elevation changes on the surface like steep slopes on streets or irregular topography in a terrain. The GPR post-processing software market has tackled the visualization of 3D GPR data with unsatisfactory results. On the one side, their workflow is long and cumbersome, navigating the user over to many options, buttons and settings. On the other, the result is not a true 3D, but rather a 2D representation in a trenched flat space. Screen Eagle has a solution to these pain points. GPR Insights 2 brings you auto volume calculation and true 3D visualization of rendered data, all in one single click. Just create a new project, go to the 3D icon and your data will be displayed in 3D automatically. Alongside this, Insights 2 will create a digital terrain from the elevation data and apply it automatically to your 3D model. So you can experience a digital twin of your underground target area and its surroundings. Simply amazing. Now let's talk about concrete bridges. Our infrastructure is aging rapidly. Unfortunately, we hear more and more frequently that our bridges are in a critical condition or in some cases they even collapse. The condition of the bridge deck is often one of the most critical elements due to its direct exposure to the elements and the ice in salts. GPR data has been increasingly used for monitoring the deterioration in concrete bridge decks, caused by the corrosion of embedded reinforcement, the composition of concrete, or both. However, the effort required in post-processing the GPR data for this application is very high, requiring deep knowledge plus the operation is also prone to errors. But I have good news for you. With GPR Insights 2, we are launching a new AI engine specifically developed for GPR applications. You will now be able, like never before, to automatically detect 
and tag reinforcing still in your concrete GPR datasets. Like for instance, in this one kilometer long example. In addition, GPR Insights 2 comes with a new data analytics model. With this, you will easily be able to elaborate deterioration maps for concrete bridge text according to the ASTM standard. Also, you can develop condition maps for generic reinforced concrete elements, such as buildings. Repetitive analysis over time will allow you to produce predictive condition maps for your structure. As Marcel said earlier, because the greenest structure might be the one that already exists, let's use the most advanced GPR technologies and analytics software to make it possible. Lastly, let me introduce you this live collaboration that comes with GPR Insights 2. I'm sure you will love it. Even if you have the most powerful tools and software to hand, sometimes you need to discuss your project interactively with your colleagues. This could be difficult if you work in a remote location or simply because you and your colleagues work in a hybrid mode. Yes, there are some communication tools in the market, but these are based on screen sharing and are not true collaboration. With GPR Insights 2, we are launching session sharing, which is, believe me, unique in the industry. You select your file and invite others to participate in real time into your session. From that moment on, any user you invited to the session will be able to work on the project and operate any functionality in GPR Insights, while together you can discuss and elevate your results to the next level. Yes, the Screen Eagle team has done it again. To the already amazing capabilities of our entire GPR stack, we elevated your possibilities with true automatic 3D visualization topographic corrections, AI analytics model for concrete condition evaluation, and session sharing. Hi, Antonio. Exciting news about GPR Insights. Yes, indeed. And GPR Insights will be available in October. Back to you, Marcel. Thanks.